following on from my last video, I've given up worrying about the warp. I don't think it's an issue, but I wasn't happy with the, the wood that I had on both sides at the front here. Um, it seemed to be very strained. I'm going to sand this support here down because it's, it doesn't follow the line. I'm just to do the same on this side. Um, clean up where the previous ones were stuck and I'm going to do it my old way which is soaking them in water and then heating them over the iron. My trusty iron is always in place and we'll see if that makes it any better. It, may, it should lie better which it didn't look very good at all. Okay let me get the wood cut now get it soaking I'll come back to you when I've got it done. Right then, I've done it the way I normally do it, which is to soak it and then let it stand in water for half an hour or so and then put the heat on the inside. You can see the difference. There's a slight gap there, but I think that'll close down. Yeah, I think I can close that down. But those little gaps don't matter because when it's primed and painted, sanded, you won't see those gaps. Of course, these ones at the front would be filled with slivers anyway. So I've got the same on both sides, the level, and we'll let that set and we'll see how it is. Uh, I think the next bit is to go down the way from there. Well much improved uh, version of what we had before much more happy with that so car oh. so i carry on to the next piece um it's a little lot better when it's smoothed down and sorted out so 200 percent better much more pleased with that um i'll let it set and then i'll trim it off so we'll carry on with the sides. Okay, I'm going to try and show you some of the bending process. Um, these have been soaking for well, quite a while. And then I just want to put a gentle curve on these bits. Put a gentle curve on there and then when you want a real curve, which you do here, you just very gently tease it around. You can see oh, I want an almost a straight angle. You've got to be careful that the wood doesn't actually split on you. You can see how easy that fits in there. Just like that. It's exactly how you want it to be. I'm going to leave that clipped on there and let it uh, dry a little bit. I put some clips in just to hold it in place. It doesn't need to be glued yet. It's got to be cut to length. But you can see that it didn't take much. So the line's pretty effective for this sort of thing. <laughs> and we have to put a bit more bend in it. Remember, there's no glue on this yet. This is where my trusty elastic bands come in handy again. Pulled 
That's too much pull. That's one side. Um, that's going to be done. Well, however many planks it takes to go to the bottom. There you go. Instruction over. Artlist IO. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist I.O.
Music licensing reimagined. Artlist.io Music licensing reimagined. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. Well, I stopped filming because uh, it does get a bit boring watching, oh, watching the same thing all the time. But there you go, four rows all bent into place. This one here looks a little bit high. Um, I'll have to see if I can fix that. But uh, it shouldn't be a problem. I'll just cut along like each side and push it down. It'll go in. I don't want to sand that down because if I sand that down there'd be nothing there but we'll wait till it's all set and then I'll cut that in and push it in a little bit further and that should do it on to the next bit so the next part is the construction of um, well I guess it's the senior officer's quarters um, it doesn't matter if the numbers are on the inside or the outside. What does matter is you get a right and a left. And the right has to go. And what would be the right looking forwards? This is the aft. And left will go in here. Just like that. Yes, it does show it's a 90 degree junction, so and you notice when it's when I put in that the slope is down towards the front. Slightly exaggerated there, but it's down to the front. Okay, let me secure these and uh, I'll come back to you. There we go. I've secured up. Using my trusty Lego bricks. If I haven't told you before, I use Lego bricks to get the 90 degrees in small spaces. I've got quite a selection of different size Lego bricks. You can buy them for about a cent each. And if you don't know it, the 90 degrees is always accurate in every direction. So if you can get a little Lego brick in, you can get your 90 degrees you don't need to have a set square all the time or a 90 degree triangle whatever so let that set up and we'll come back to it
and it's had a little bit of time to set. I'd already put the pieces onto here. These are the side bits which are attached to this. You'll see it. Uh, it makes a little framework which, uh, after it's fitted to it. the ship will be the quarters so we've got to make sure we get the lefts and the rights in the right place so lefts on this side so it goes on there like that rights on that side this is dead easy And the noise you can hear is the rain. joined up like a big pie shape can you see how you can see there you go <coughs> all right leave that to set that's it for today the next job is to um, fill in these corners with some two by two and then um, this whole piece here will be covered with open veneer so about another day's work in this but that will be on the next video okay if you like what you see subscribe like it's up to you i don't, don't it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe and it doesn't cost you anything to like if you don't like it then feel free to press the thumbs down Hope you don't. Okay, see you in the next one.